Joy Louise here, also known as Swiss Ian Inc. Uh, I usually um, just create illustrations and design and uh, random bits and stuff, um, but keeping my channel in a like, you know, I said in my last update that I want to try and make this more fun and just like post more stuff that I'm actually doing or like things that inspire me or whatever it is I'm working on. And this weekend I'm working on giving my furniture a bit of an upcycle because I don't know about you, but spending so much time in here and looking at it all the time. I mean, you're not in here, but you know, in your home, <laughs> looking at it all the time, it kind of just makes me want to change it up a bit. So um, I'm not going to do anything too drastic. Uh, I just wanted to give it a bit of a refresh as such. So um, the furniture in question is a TV stand, uh, set of drawers, and some bedside tables and basically it's not even anything fancy but I've never done anything like this before um, with furniture usually if I don't like it I'll just like I don't know uh, buy a new piece or whatever but I thought you know there's nothing wrong with the actual furniture it's just the what's on it I'm not such a fan of anymore it's bugging me so I'm gonna paint it <laughs> I'm gonna paint parts of it at least uh, and change up the handles just little bits like that but um and then restyle the areas just to refreshen it maybe but um i don't know i thought i'd include it why not um see if you're also interested in a bit of home decor um stuff i know i am i love um watching other people's home decor videos it's probably a big um it inspires me a lot of my work in general um whether that be looking at photos magazines and um, pinterest other people's instagram photos of their interior decor or I don't know, just being in my surroundings and creating that um, environment um, that inspires me is a big help. <laughs> so let's um, let's just have a look at what I end up doing with it really. Hopefully it goes well. If it doesn't, this video is um, not going to be here. <laughs> so if you're watching this video, um, I think it went well, but yeah, let's um, take a little look and change up some furniture, shall we? <laughs> Okay, so before I show you the pieces before I started painting and doing whatever with them, I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer and kind of say, um, obviously, like I said, I've not done this before and I'm not saying that this is the way that you should also do this if you were to paint your furniture. This, I'm just showing you the way that I did it, um, that worked for the specific pieces of furniture that I have and to give you a bit of inspiration really. So yeah, let's take a look at the pieces. Four of the pieces are from a set that all have the same style. Um, I believe you can get these from Wayfair. So we have a TV stand and we also have two matching bedside tables. As you can see they've all got um, that same kind of pattern and same handles and um, same colour wood etc. We've got some drawers as well that are in my little studio area um, that I'm going to change up also and as well as those matching pieces. I'm also going to paint the full um, IKEA Malm dressing table pink as well. Um, like I said, there's nothing wrong with these bits of furniture. Um, I just this um, apartment that we have is rented, so we can't add colour to the walls. So I thought, why not add colour to the furniture? <laughs> and those patterns were really, really bugging me. They don't really go for the rest of our decor. And adding a splash of pink, I thought, would be the ideal way to tie it together with our colour scheme, which is kind of like. Um, teal and dusty pink and gold um, so I thought that it would be a good way to get a bit more of those colours in through the furniture and to freshen them up a bit. <laughs> so let's get to it. I can't wait to show you this beautiful paint. I heard such good things about it and tracked it down and this shade in particular is absolutely beautiful and it's just the right shade I was looking for. It's um, the Frenchic Alfresco shade in Dusky Blush and it's so beautiful. Um, I've just taken off the front panels of all of those bits of furniture I just showed you. Um, I'm literally just going to paint the front panels, not the whole thing. Um, I thought that would be enough um, of a splash of colour to change it up and really hide those areas that were bugging me the most. So for the first layer, I went in with a roller. Um, this didn't end up being a very good roller. Um, excuse me, trying to do it with one hand while I film it as well. <laughs> but yeah, it left a bit of a weird texture behind. Um, that was kind of like dimply. Um, I don't know if it's because it wasn't a smooth enough roller or whatever, but I went in with a DL brush like this 
and added two more layers on top of that first layer so that roller brush is really good for getting that first bulk of colour on there and getting everything covered up. But I also kind of liked how um, brush left more of a natural um, painted finish as well rather than being it too smooth or too like dimply or whatever. Um, I kind of like having those little bits of brush strokes but the way the paint dried um, really nice it wasn't too obvious either um, which was also good so it's just a nice subtle bit of texture so there's a lot of um, painting that I'm just going to be doing at the moment until we had every single panel that we wanted covered painted with those free coats and free coats really did work well as you can see um, you can see a little tiny bits of brush strokes but nothing too crazy uh, once they were dry um, it took about an hour or so um, to feel dry but we left them for a couple hours until we knew they were definitely dry and I just added on some new handles there which are nice little gold bars um, attach those back and attach those back to the drawers and pop them back in on to paint and the dressing table now and I have to say putting that first um, <laughs> stroke of paint on there and get my fiance Jordan to help um, with this as well by the way <laughs> so I didn't just do this all by myself um, but yeah it was quite nerve-wracking putting that first bit of paint on there because it's such a big bit of furniture and I wanted to cover the whole thing in pink and I was like oh my god this better look good because there's no coming back now is there but so happy um, with how the paint went on and um, we did the same technique again um, doing the first coat of a roller just to really get the bulk on there and then did two more coats with this um, flat um, long brush as well and just really laid it on there and smoothed it out and um, yeah like I say the way that um, the paint dried and especially with that smooth texture of the um, furniture as well it dried so soft and smooth and you can't really see any brush strokes at all um, which is really nice we did also remove the drawer on this piece and um, painted the front panel of the drawer separate as well and reattached everything afterwards so to ensure that bit was smooth as well. Alright so that was a super quick overview of um, the way we painted everything and kind of our inspiration behind it and yeah I know um, I love just seeing the after pieces as well when watching these videos so I thought I wouldn't make that bit too long because like I say I'm not an expert on these types of things so I don't really want to um, give any detailed instructions um, just in case it doesn't work out but let me show you the after pieces and I hope you love them too. So first up, let's take a look at that TV cabinet slash unit and I really love how this one turned out. It really does make such a difference to that space and it brightens it up and creates a nice warmth as well which is so lovely. And those handles as well just add that pop of gold and um, that ties them with the bar cart. the drawers in the studio and again it just it's so lovely to see a bit of colour in this space because it was quite dull and boring before um, I just want to paint everything pink now it makes such a lovely difference and here you can see it a bit more close up um, with those gold handles as well all right now for the dresser I'm so in love with how this piece turned out I've wanted to do something with this dressing table for the longest time because I just hated how dull it looked when it was white and I always knew that it could look so much better if it had a bit of colour to it and it didn't disappoint that shade works so well for the space and um, with that glass panel back on top as well it looks so shiny and lovely and yeah I just I couldn't be happier with how it turned out especially with that teal stool underneath as well it just ties the whole colour scheme together in this room so well bedside tables we really wanted these crystal um, handles from anthropology for the longest time every time I'd go in the shop I had to pick them up and just admire them and um, but they were unfortunately sold out in the shop so I had to order some online and unfortunately it looks like we got picked some um, dodgy ones as they look quite different to um, what I've seen in the past and um, they were more circular the ones I've seen these ones were quite blocky um, I just thought they'd work really well in this space, um, especially with a salt crystal lamp and it just feels like a bit more special with it being a smaller bit of furniture, don't want anything too overpowering on those other pieces but I thought they'd work well in this area but 
yeah, um, a lot of the crystals had fallen off and stuff, um, so I've had to send those back and I'll finish the bedside tables when I find some crystal um, handles that I like, or any type of handles that would work well in that space really. But yeah, I will um, finish those another time. <laughs> enough about my um, disappointment with those handles for our bedside table let's look take a look at side by side the pictures of before and after because I know that's really like the best way to actually tell the difference in a space so first up we have the TV stand before and after and yeah you can definitely see the difference of it looking a lot brighter there and the drawers before and after let me know what you think I'd love to know if you think that um which looks better before or after. I definitely prefer the after, but yeah, I'd love to know. And this piece especially, look how much more colourful that space looks. It, it makes such a difference, it's so lovely. And yeah, bedside tables. <laughs> this is where they are at the minute, just that lick of paint. And yeah, I'll find some handles later. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was something a bit different, um, but I really enjoyed um, trying something different and hopefully you enjoyed watching it too and you found it useful or it's made you want to change up your own furniture or you know whatever <laughs> if um if you did end up changing anything um inspired by this i'd love to see uh you know tag me in on any pictures you know of anything that you create inspired by my videos or tutorials or anything like that um over on instagram at felicity and ink felicity and ink <laughs> whenever i say that and watch it back it just sounds like Bleh. like it's felicity and ink not the ink <laughs> whatever but yeah, thank you for watching, and if you've made it to the end of the video, um, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you found my videos, and I hope that you'll subscribe and watch the other bits that I get to. I do a lot of studio vlogs and arty, crafty, designy tutorials and reviews and uh, challenges and that type of thing. So uh, some of those things that I've mentioned might not be there yet because I am working on a new little schedule that I'm going to be bringing out new videos every Sunday at 8am. So check back and if they're not there now, I'm sure they will be. But yeah, thank you and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!